I welcome you in the last part of the video recorded lectures on simple linear regression. So far we have computed this regression equation. Now in this video I will interpret it. So we have this 20.041 is equal to beta or we can call it A or if we can say it it's the Y intercept. Y intercept. So 20.041 this is our intercept beta naught. This is the average value of the y when the value of the x is equal to 0. However, in our case, the x or house area can't be equal to 0 square meter, which is impossible obviously. So, so we can say that the intercept 20.041, which is in 1000, we can say 241. Sorry. So, this is the portion of the amount that hasn't be explained by this variable area in the square meter. I mean that there are a lot of variable that explains the house price. Out of these variable we have taken only one variable in our study that is the house area. So the other factor that affects the house price their effect is 20.041. So for the houses within a range of sizes we have taken in our study 20,041 uh, $20, dollars is the portion of the house price that is not explained by the amount of square meters. The slope beta 1 this is 0 0.528, 0 0.5283 this is the slope we can call it beta 1 and we can call it B. So this is the estimate change in the average value of y of the house price as a result of one unit change in the x. It means that if there is one square meter increase in the house area, there will be an increase of 0.5283 or if you multiply by 100, we can call it there will be an increase of 528.3 dollars in the house price. Likewise, if there is a decrease in the house area by 1 square meter, there will be a decrease of $528.3 in the house price. Here, the slope of 0 0.5 to it tells that the average value of a house increases by $528.3 on average for each additional square meter of size. So, we can use this regression equation for the prediction. For example, if you put any house area within the range we have taken, so this equation will predict us. So, a house of 350 square meter can then be estimated to the cost. So, we will use this equation. So, we got this is 20.041. This is our constant. We have multiplied the whole equation with the $1000. 0 0.5 it is slope and here we have put 350. So 350 has been put it instead of this area only. So we got 204946. This is one of the limitation of the regression equation. But the regression equation should never be applied outside the data range it has been determined in. So in order to uh, show you this point that how it works. So we have used 350 right now. So I will take you to people to the x or independent values. Here you can see that in the x variable or independent variable we have the smallest value equal to 199 and our largest value is 405. So now the limitation is that we have to use the independent variable value within these two values in the range of these two values. So we have used in the word for the prediction 350. So obviously 350 lies in between them. So this is called interpolation. Interpolation means that regression analysis only works on the interpolation. It means that the value of the independent variable should always be between these observed values. If we have to observe instead of 4, uh, 405 we want to check 415 it becomes extrapolation. We, go, we get now outside of the observed range. And the regression analysis doesn't work for the extra, sorry, this is extra, E-X-T-R-A, extrapolation. Likewise, if you want to search for 109, so this is also extrapolation because now 
109 is less than 199 and we have the smallest observed value for the house price is 199. I hope that all of the concepts and the computation method have been discussed with you in the best way possible. Thanks for watching this whole series. Bye.